The onslaught of the Sith Empire was an event unlike any other in the history of the Republic. The Sith materialized from nowhere and launched an offensive of colossal proportions. Horrifying reports from the Outer Rim seemed to portend the utter destruction of the Republic. The rapid onset of galaxy-wide terror and panic was part of the Sith Emperor's meticulous calculations. His plan was flawless. Sith battlecruisers first appeared on the fringes of the Tingle Arm. Unaware of the ship's origins, we dispatched a diplomatic convoy with a small starfighter escort. The Emperor wanted us to witness the full might of his forces before he attacked. The diplomats had just enough time to transmit images back. Then they were annihilated. Immediately thereafter, the Sith began a full assault on the Republic allies in the Aparo Sector, which fell before the Republic fleet even arrived. Then our allies turned on us. The Sith had secretly established puppet governments on Belkanon, and Serpinal, and Ruya. The Republic fleet suddenly found itself in enemy territory, fighting desperately on all sides. The Republic rallied every available ship to support the fleet, leaving only a handful of Jedi security ships to patrol Korriban. Regrettably, Korriban fell back into the enemy's hands without the Jedi Council even knowing about it. Overwhelmed and desperate, the Republic fleet scattered, fleeing from the Tingle Arm to avoid complete annihilation. Elsewhere in the Outer Rim, the Sith staged more targeted strikes, destroying our shipyards in the Slui sector, blockading the Rima trade route, and seizing control of the rich resources of the Minos Cluster. Confused and in complete disarray, Republic forces were unable to respond. Republic leaders and members of the Jedi Council arranged an emergency meeting in the Senate to prioritize the galaxy's defense. But the session quickly became mired in politics. Irate senators stormed out in protest over decisions which left their representative sectors exposed to attack. Many of the Republic's diplomatic allies refused military support for the greater cause. It was every system for itself. This was perhaps the greatest genius of the Emperor's plot. He had turned the Republic against itself. While the Republic played politics, the Emperor used the time to reconfigure his forces for the long push into the Galactic Core. All might have been lost in those early years had individual Jedi Masters and Republic military leaders waited for the Senate's orders. By taking matters into their own hands, they managed to slow the Empire's advances. The attack of the Sith Empire was the most well-orchestrated and carefully coordinated military maneuver in the galaxy's history. Indications suggest the operation took centuries of planning and preparation. I'll elaborate in my next report.